The Big Bang Theory tells the captivating story of our universe's birth from a minuscule, scorching point. Yet, the question remains, what set this grand cosmic show into motion? So, how did the universe, our magnificent cosmos, come into existence from a state of nothingness? Delve into the enigmatic origins of our universe, where something truly extraordinary sparked from the void. Welcome to Mind Blown, subscribe, and let's dive in. The Big Bang Theory provides us with a detailed picture of the early universe, which began around 13.8 billion years ago when it was a tiny, hot, and dense space that defies human comprehension. During this early stage of creation, all the elements and particles that constitute our observable universe today were formed in a matter of minutes. However, the one aspect that remains unexplained is what preceded this earliest moment of the universe itself, what was there before the Big Bang? One leading explanation points to a singularity, an unimaginably dense and hot point that existed in a space much smaller than an atom. This singularity is believed to have contained the precise amount of energy and heat needed to give rise to our universe as we know it. But the big question lingers, what could have created such a perfect combination of energy and heat in the first place? Some scientists believe the singularity emerged from nothingness, and there was absolutely nothing before it. This concept of something emerging from nothing seems to challenge the fundamental laws of physics, especially the principle that, nothing can be created from nothing. The prevailing belief is that the singularity resulted from nothingness, and before it, there was emptiness, no space, no time. This notion of creation from nothing has puzzled scientists for years. To understand how our universe may have emerged from nothing, we need to trace back to the early stages of the Big Bang and how the first atomic materials formed. In the beginning, only a tiny fraction of a second after the Big Bang, the first long-lived particles to exist were neutrons and protons, which make up the atomic nucleus. Before this point, there was no actual matter in the universe. Pushing our understanding back to the earliest point, known as the Planck epoch, we enter a realm where the laws of physics, both general relativity and quantum mechanics, seem to break down. The Planck epoch occurred only a tiny fraction of a trillionth of a second after the Big Bang and remains the earliest stage in the creation of the universe. During this time, space and time were subject to powerful but incredibly dense quantum fluctuations. Here, we encounter the enigmatic concept of quantum gravity, which blends the rules of quantum mechanics and general relativity. However, our current understanding of physics does not apply to this era, as it defies the conventional rules of cause and effect. Despite these challenges, many scientists agree that a physical process, whether or not it fits our current understanding of physics, was occurring during the Planck epoch, giving rise to space and time. One leading theory in physics is that space and time were born out of quantum processes that existed even before the Big Bang. Quantum mechanics tells us that even in empty space, energy fluctuations occur, and these fluctuations can give rise to unstable particles. These energy particles have been observed in experiments and are powerful enough to create particles that exist only momentarily. Hence, there was something in the vacuum of space-time. As we move further back to the most primitive stages of the universe, we reach the grand unified epoch. During this time, the universe was a dense soup of short-lived elementary particles, and both matter and antimatter existed in roughly equal quantities. But the question persists, what caused these processes to exist in the first place? This is where the theories diverge. Some propose supernatural or divine forces, while others suggest the existence of a multiverse with an infinite number of parallel universes. The multiverse theory, however, does not address how each universe is created. A widely debated scenario suggests the existence of a cyclical model of universes, where the death of one universe leads to the birth of another in an infinite cycle. This model hints at the end of our universe being similar to the nothingness that preceded the Big Bang. Roger Penrose's theory of conformal cyclic cosmology has sparked intense debate within the scientific community. This theory challenges the traditional view of the universe's origins and proposes a cyclic model where our current universe is not a one-time creation but rather the result of a chain of universes. Penrose, a highly respected physicist and mathematician, won the Nobel Prize in 2020 for his groundbreaking work on black holes. Penrose's theory suggests that our universe didn't emerge from anything but was born from the remnants of a previous universe. This idea is rooted in his analysis of the cosmic microwave background, CMB, which provides a snapshot of the universe's early stages. He observed peculiar patterns in the CMB, 
suggesting the existence of a preceding universe filled with evaporating black holes that eventually gave rise to the Big Bang of our universe. One of the key features of Penrose's theory is the concept of conformal rescaling, where size and time become relative and irrelevant in the transition between a cold, lifeless universe and a hot, thriving one. The boundary between these phases is referred to as an eon, with the end of one eon leading to the birth of the next through a Big Bang. Penrose's theory also challenges the traditional idea of a big crunch, where the universe would eventually collapse back into itself. Observations have shown that the universe's expansion is accelerating, making a big crunch scenario unlikely. However, while Penrose's theory provides a compelling explanation for the origin of our universe, it still leaves the ultimate question unanswered, what initiated the very first universe in this cycle? This question delves into the realm of philosophy and the potential existence of a divine being responsible for the initial creation. Thank you for watching, follow for more.